Hi everyone, I'm Sharice from Let's See It and I wanted to do a get ready with you or get ready with me and I thought it would be really fun to do that with the new makeup palette that I received from Ipsy Glam. Um, my video for that unboxing is linked below but this is the palette. It's the Nomad Underground Berlin Oops, Berlin Underground palette. And I'm also gonna be using the Madison Miller uh, collaboration with Ofra cheek palette. And I have a Besame's um, Golden Sand Bronzer Compact from the Mermaid Lagoon from Peter Pan um, with Besame. And it was a really nice compact. And I'll be using the <clears throat> Thrive um, Cosmetics Mascara. It's their liquid lash extensions, and this really works really nicely. Um, don't know how it works, but it works. And then for my lips, I'll be using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Rubino. So it's going to be a nice dark lip. It'll be really fun. All right, let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is my base for my face. I don't do very much because my skin's pretty clear, um, but I have been using this Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. It's in an adorable little package and that's glass and it looks like a pineapple and it smells like a pineapple and it's really cool. I talked about it in my last video so I thought I would use it but it doesn't take very much just like two drops basically so I'll put some right there and some right here. Ooh, it's dropping down and you just smear it all up and this um helps to even out your skin tone. So if you have any scars or sunspots or dry patches, anything like that, that'll even it out. And it also has a really nice soft finish that I really enjoy. Um, plus I love the smell, it's very summery and I like to use a lot of um, coconut and other, you know, summery scent so this goes really well with it and then for my um, moisturizer I've been using figs and rouge their morning revival um, lotion and I've been using this since the spring and I love it it um, has a very subtle floral scent to it because I think it has rose water in it but this lotion is incredible and it just really works well and it makes your skin calm down so if you have a lot of redness in your skin it'll help it to calm down really quickly and um, it plumps up your skin also so if you have fine wrinkles or stayed up too late too many nights in a row it'll help with that so uh, next I think I'm probably just gonna jump right into the palette since I just put the lotion on I don't need to really use any um, primer but I mean you could but I think I'm not going to this time so one nice thing about this underground palette um, it has a lot of colors as you can see, but it also has a full size mirror on the top. So I'll be using that to help me. So let's get started here. I'm going to get my brushes. So I'll be using the um, Moda Studio brush. And I don't remember what this number is. It doesn't say on here, but this is what it looks like. It's just a blending brush and I'm gonna take the uh, let's see hmm, I think I'll do the I don't know how to pronounce this before but this color the, all the words are in German so 
makes it a little difficult to pronounce it for you guys, but hold on, this is my face. So I have to wear glasses and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do my makeup because it's hard to see because I can't wear my glasses when I'm doing my makeup. Has anyone else out there had that problem? I know that you can get contacts, but whenever I wear contacts to my work, they dry out really fast and I'm always having to put those drops in and it's just not comfortable. So I switched back to wearing glasses, but that's okay. I don't mind. It's only for a few minutes in the day, right? Another color or brush I'm gonna use is from this. It's the same one, Moda Studio but it's this um, kind, I, I wish I knew what these all were called, I'm sorry. I just don't remember, I use them, that's all. So, uh, I think I wanna stay kind of light toned today. So, I'm gonna use this flat color right here. It's kind of a terracotta color. I like it though, it's pretty, almost reminds me of bricks. From like the wall, the Berlin wall. I'm just going to darken the edges a little bit. Nothing fancy. And I'll blend it out in a sec, but I want to do my other eye. And then I know. I, a lot of people will be looking at how I'm applying my makeup and cringe because they're like, oh my gosh, how can you put your makeup on like that? I actually didn't start wearing makeup until a couple of years ago every day. Um, you, you know, I haven't really looked back since then, but in the meantime, I've had a really steep learning curve. So I started watching a lot of YouTube videos and that's what got me started on different uh, subscription boxes because I saw some unboxings that were fascinating and I loved them. And um, so it got me started and, and then I started watching even more because I like to see how they use the products. And I decided to um, try my hand at doing the same thing. So we'll see if I can make anything of this. It's just something fun that um, I want to try and I just really love boxes of all kinds I really do I know you're probably laughing at me for that but I'm gonna use this gold color right here um, they just I don't know there's something that almost makes you feel like you're getting a Christmas present every month when the box arrives and it makes me happy. My kids and my husband make me really happy too, of course, but you know, there's something special about getting a box of a bunch of goodies that makes you feel good and excited and have interests in different things. So I'm gonna put those brushes up and then get my blender and just kind of blend out these colors Yep, there you go. So, <clears throat> uh, one thing I forgot to do is I like to line the bottom of my eyes also. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this terracotta color on the bottom. Just like that. I think it's pretty. This color really makes blue eyes pop, that's for sure. But I think this palette would work on all skin tones with all eye colors. And I think you can just really make some fun looks with this palette. 
So this is just one example of something that you can do. Let's see. Okay, so now the last thing is the liner. And I do have some really nice liners and I do use a lot of like liquid liners and stuff. I use them quite a bit, but for today, I'm just going to take this black shade down here in the bottom and I am going to use it, just kind of tap it in here, down. Deepen it up a little bit. Yeah, I think it looks nice. You won't really know until you get your glasses on. And that's another thing, because I wear glasses, I feel like I can get away a little bit with wearing a little bit darker eye makeup than somebody who doesn't wear glasses, because the glasses hide, hide a lot of the color. Um, some of my friends might not agree with me, but <laughs> I do come in with some wild looks to work sometimes, but generally I try to stay pretty professional. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to put on my mascara real quick. Mascara, I hate putting mascara on. I never have been able to do it. And I unfortunately have the world's blondest eyelashes and they're the shortest eyelashes. They're too short to curl and they're too blonde not to do something with. So I have to put mascara on, but uh, I gotta just try to barely tap into my eyelashes or they'll disappear. So this mascara is actually kind of cool because it makes them longer than um, they really are, so I have some appreciation for that. I'm going to try to put just a little bit on the bottom here. I usually don't put any mascara on the bottom lashes. So, anyone out there is interested, I'm married and I have four kids. I work full time and, um, you know, I'm a full-time mom, <laughs> so it keeps me busy. I'm always hopping. Uh, also, sing and my church's choir um, for worship, and so we have practice Tuesdays, and it can certainly make things interesting. Um, never a dull moment in my life ever, but I love it when it trade it for anything. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and this angled brush and just tap into it a little bit and I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight to the right here add some shape to my face and then on the other side like that so I don't go all crazy just keep it simple might add a little bit up here and here and then a trick for people with that are overweight and have a little bit of a double chin you can add a little bit down here also and it'll help cover that up a little bit make it a little less noticeable and then the final thing that i want to do is this um my uh face makeup from Madison Miller through Ofra. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm not even gonna use the blush because um, I have really red cheeks, as you can see. So I'm just gonna use this brush here for highlighting. And I'm gonna tap into this um, color right here. I have to figure out my angles for showing you guys this makeup. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top. Just like that. I'm going to try this one. Just like that. I 
and that's it. Pretty simple, huh? Oh, you know what? I did say I was gonna use the uh, lipstick, so let me try that. This lipstick is kind of dark, so I'll kind of go light on it. Have y'all learned the trick on how to apply good liquid lipstick that lasts all day? Because I haven't. I know. Well, apparently I need to not talk while I'm using this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to work on my um application of lipstick because That doesn't look bad, huh? Yeah, that's pretty. So, there we have it. That's my look. And, you know, I know I'm wearing pigtails. I can do my hair and make them look cute, my hair look cute. But for now, I think I'm happy with this look. I look pretty shiny and highlighted and lively. And I would not be ashamed at all to go step into the grocery store or Rite Aid or wherever I have to go. So here's my look and thank you for getting ready with me and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.